Get your glimpse of big bulls, big bulls, yeah. Good morning, my few subscribers that I have out there in the land of YouTube. Um, ladies and gentlemen, again, good morning. It is early. It is, let me see how I can flip this around while I'm recording. If I can, uh, I don't think I can. So let's try it this way. It is bam, two eleven a.m. Super early. I just got up a bit ago. Finished getting my gear ready, doing the hygiene, all that, brushing my teeth. That way I don't have stinky breath when talking to you guys. And uh, I'm sitting around waiting on my buddy Jeremy. Um, we are going to go try to shoot some ducks in their face. We've had some pretty bad weather the last two, three days. I mean, pretty bad. Uh, well, bad for Albuquerque. Decent amount of snow. Um, and we haven't been too successful the last few times out duck hunting, but can't really just give up, I guess. So we're going to load up all the gear in the truck drive about an hour, hour and a half at the most south of here and give it a shot again. The weather's supposed to be gone. It's supposed to be cold this morning. Very cold for me. I'm from Arizona. I get cold easy. We're talking single digits most of the morning. And um, so I'm going to bundle up and we're going to see what will happen. So I'll record some more along the way. Once Jeremy gets here, we get loaded up and we're cruising out. And then once we're in the blind and show you, I'm sure the water is going to be frozen over. We're hunting uh, some standing water today. A little pond area, if you will. I'm going to bring the different motion decoys I have to try to keep the water moving a little bit. And we'll go from there. So we'll talk to you soon. See you once Jeremy gets here. All right, so we're sitting out here just waiting on Jeremy to show up, and uh, oh, speak of the devil, there he comes. Anyway, he's got the truck warming up. It's a little chilly this morning. Uh, looking at about 14 degrees right now, and it's about to get loud because this dude owns a big old diesel. So I'm gonna shut this off. We'll continue more here once we're inside the truck and rolling. Continuing on, we are approaching Las Lunas. I'm sure 90% of you guys know where that is. There might be a few of my subscribers, not like I have a lot, but a few of you that may not have a clue what a Las Lunas is. But anyway, small little town in, in New Mexico here between Albuquerque and I don't know, you've probably heard of Socorro or, but anyways, um, it is a whopping degrees now according to my truck and it's a little about a quarter past three we're on our way uh me and this guy what's up buddy jeremy we've uh not had the best of luck the last few times but i don't know keep talking ourselves into doing this nonsense this early in the morning in this cold so one of these times it's got to pay off like it used to but I don't know. It's fun when it's when it's good, so it's fun when it's not actually, but just try not to complain about it anymore, I guess, if I can. But anywho, trucking down the highway trying to get there. Hoping nobody's got the spot or our spot that we want. That's the biggest thing with with hunting these birds down here is you know, there's limited spots if you don't have a boat. And so many people go to the same areas that becomes a rat race and a early rat race. I mean, I got off work at 10 last night and woke up by about 2 to, to make this trip. So a lot of times we run on fumes, but I guess that's why us duck hunters are a rare breed, they say, because we'll deal with no sleep and cold weather and all that junk try to shoot these suckers in their face. 
case, but so we'll see. Trucking on. Oh, P.S. I hate these stupid tire sensors. Every time it's cold and make it sound like I don't know. I hate seeing warning lights on my dash about anything. So it drives me crazy. My tire's not low. It's just cold. Every single time it's cold, this stupid light comes on, and that's something you car manufacturers need to figure out. Alright, I'm done ranting. And I'm doing a magic trick where I'm not really filming this while I'm driving because I'm sure I'm going to get nasty comments about that, but oh well. Moving on. Alright, one last quick video. We're set up. We had to go plan B, go to the river, which I'm not a fan of, but oh well. Um... Well, you can't even see because my breath is so damn cold out here, but basically got our spreads over there. And this little cut off from the river sandbar thing. Jeremy's going to be there. Ooh, evil looking eyes. I'm going to be over here. Waiters are a frozen block right now. I mean, frozen solid. And we're going to hope for the best. The last spot we were at was, uh, let's see if I could do this right. Oh, that light's bright. Anyways, we were breaking blocks of ice that were three inches, three inches thick, easy. I'll post a picture in the video somewhere, but we're going to see what the river does. I'm not a fan of it, but it's the only place that's got moving water, so everything's not frozen over, and we'll see. So if they come flying in good this morning, I'll try to get some good action video but uh see what happens there goes nothing well wrapping up on this icy cold morning we're gonna go try to a couple spots where we might be able to jump a few more finish out some a limit or two uh only ended up with three this morning just slow again man not sure where the birds are. Pretty sure they're still up north, actually. But uh, we're gonna go packed up. Trucks right up there. Get all this stuff put up. We we'll try to jump some, and if not, we we'll get some nice breakfast and call it a day. All these turkeys, come on phone, focus. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, there. All these turkeys were just in this field to the left of us. <laughs> well, that sounded crappy because this calls been in my truck and cold but we were just talking about them they are over here in these cornfields i read my motor they jumped up flew across the ditch i shit you not they landed right in the road right in front of us what 20 probably mm -hmm. at least yeah. i'm gonna drive up here and see if they're bored huh Big old floppy ears. <laughs> and your baby. Looks like she looks she, dumb, like huh? A donkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does. That's, that's the mule in her. Yeah. I just wanted to kind of summarize and wrap up that video I was just making. Um, duck hun hunting wasn't that great that morning. Uh, we did have fun, though. I appreciate Jeremy coming with me. Uh, he's been... Pretty solid guy, man. Came with me the last several times, actually. Uh, knowing that the conditions could suck and that, um, you know, not a lot of birds so far where we've been going and whatnot. And uh, he keeps toughening it out and losing sleep also and rolling with. And I appreciate it. So um, I'll keep popping out a few of these videos here and there. I'm trying to get better at adding some videos to my channel. Um, you know, what's the point of having subscribers and stuff if I'm not making a lot of videos, but, you know, just get caught up in life and sometimes I don't remember to, but 
Um, the part you saw with the turkeys and the deer and whatnot is when we had moved to the river. And uh, after we were done with that, we were going to try to jump some, jump shoot some off ditches and whatnot. <sighs> Excuse me, just a little bit sleepy. And uh, anyways, there's usually some decent uh, elk down there. So I told him, hey, you know, let's kind of take the long, slow way home and see if we find these elk. Well, we ended up seeing all those turkey and those deer. And if you look in the video where we're kind of laughing at the doe or whatever, if you look right below her ears and behind her, there was a nice buck right there. He's a three by three. Um, I know this because I got out of my truck and swore I was recording him. And when I looked at my phone, I didn't see the timer going and realized I just, I guess I didn't press the record button hard enough. But he stood up, looked at me, turned broadside. He's a solid three by three, you know, all day shooter for me. Um, this was, you know, first part of January when they're kind of sort of still rutting down here in New Mexico. And ironically, Jeremy was like, there's got to be a buck, you know, if that doe's out there. And I agreed, and we got to look in, and sure enough, we saw him. And again, thought I was filming. Classic story of not hitting the record button and missed out on some good footage of what he actually looked like. But that's all right. Great day, great hunt, great friendship. Appreciate it all. Uh, appreciate you guys continuing to follow me, and I'll get better at this, I promise. And tell your friends, subscribe, like, hit the bell, all that good stuff, and we'll get you some more videos. We have a upcoming, or I do anyways, a upcoming javelina hunt in about two weeks. It's already started, but we're not going to go for about two weeks. And uh, I'm going to have somebody that should be filming it for us, and I hope to really produce a good video on that one. And then February, I have a Barbary sheep hunt coming up also. So stay tuned for those. Tell your friends. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again, guys. Bye.